So welcome to my Kuala Lumpur apartment. The first room that we'll head into is the kitchen. Uh, as you can see, we have a Western style kitchen with a gas range, beautiful views of Kuala Lumpur, and pretty much all the amenities that you would expect, um, including an ice bucket, which is really nice. Here you see our refrigerator, which is quite similar to the one I had in San Francisco. Right across from the kitchen is the laundry room, which was an unexpected surprise. Um, you can see our Samsung washer there, a sink in the corner, and a drying rack. Um, I'll close the door. It's quite noisy because you can hear the air conditioning units from the building in that room. It's actually an open air space in the middle of the building, which is kind of cool. The next room here is our um, guest bathroom. It has a shower in it right in the hallway. It's one of three bathrooms, which is pretty incredible. And then here is a view of the office space, which we're currently using as luggage storage, but nice little desk area with beautiful views of KL and the little balcony that we have. It's one of two balconies. So really impressive uh, <laughs> for, for the accommodations in Asia thus far. Um, now we are approaching the main living space. This is the dining room where I currently have my computer set up. I'm about to head into the office later today. And here is the living room. So just a really nice space, very bright. We have all the amenities that you can think of. I've got CNN uh, playing in the background. And I believe these suites go for something like $28 a night. Um, in total, my roommate Michelle and I are paying $2,000 a month for accommodations, uh, including this apartment, the workspace, and all of the programming for remote year. So um, definitely feels like it's well worth the money, coming from the US at least. Here you can see some of our neighbors and of the other high-rise buildings. There is just tremendous amount of construction going on in Malaysia. This is one of those melting pot cities where it's just a confluence of all Asian cultures, religions, and uh, cuisines, and it's, it's just exploding right now. There's so much construction noise, but the apartment is surprisingly quiet. Um, here we're actually entering my roommate Michelle's bedroom. She's currently traveling in Thailand. Here is a little view of her bathroom. She's a nice little window. And here you can see her bed in the two beautiful views that she has. You can approach this area a little bit more. And you can see we're a five minute walk from an, a rainforest that is located in the heart of Kuala Lumpur. It's dubbed uh, the green lung of the city. And almost right next to it is KL Tower, which is um, one of the landmarks in this city. And as you can see, that's about a 10 minute walk. So everything is so close, very green. I've pretty much walked everywhere, although um, Uber is also an easy way to get around. Super safe, you never have to worry about, you know, being scammed by the taxis. Now we are heading into my bedroom. I have a little sitting area, master bedroom. Um, you can see I have a king size bed. And then I have a little balcony, which is really nice. I've been meditating on it every morning, which is really cool. There you go. I'm gonna apologize for my shaky and swift hand movements. I need, should probably take a video, video filming class. Anyways, here we are at the um, third and final bathroom really nice space. I also have a bathtub. As you can see, I am currently drawing a bathing suit. Um, there's a pool on the sixth floor. So there you have it, a little glimpse of my apartment in Kuala Lumpur. And hopefully I'll get to um, show all of the different living spaces that I am hanging out in for the next 12 months. Thanks and have a great day.